As well as writing notes into our scores, we also need to be able to write silence into our scores. And in music notation, we do that with rests. And so for every symbol, like a crotchet or a quaver or a semibrieve, there's an equivalent crotchet, quaver and semibrieve rest that tells the person reading the music to be silent for a particular number of beats. And so the way that we get rests into our score in MuseScore is really easy. If you're using note input mode, so I just pressed N to enter note input mode, you'll see, as usual, I've got my note head just appearing over the bar there. And if I was to click, I'm just going to get another B added to the score. But what if I wanted a silence to happen here for the same amount of time? Well, all I need to do to turn my note head into a rest is to come up here to the top bar and click the rest button and that will turn my note head into a rest. So if I click now, instead of getting a note written into the score, I get a rest written into the score. And if I want to go back to writing normal notes, I can just go back to clicking on the screen and by turning off the rest button, I'm able to write notes back into the score. If instead I'm using keyboard entry, then I'm gonna be typing the letter name of the notes that I want to appear in my score. So here I'm just typing Bs to get uh, the Bs to appear here. If I want a rest to appear in the score instead of a particular pitch, then all I need to do is type the number zero. And what this will do is add a rest of the selected duration to my score. So as you can see at the moment, I've got crotchet or quarter note selected up here in the top bar. If I needed a longer amount of time my rest, I can choose a different value, just the same way I would if I needed a longer note to be written into the music. So anytime I want a rest, I can just press zero and then carry on typing as I want. So that shows how easy it is to get rests included alongside notes in our music.